Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal. As promised, this is the after <laughs> of my paper stockpile. OMG, don't mind the mess. Just still trying to find people to give the Sammy Fat Foam hair color from Rite Aid last year. Can't find enough people to give it away to, so I bagged it up and I'm going to try one last time to do like a bulk donation. Um, yeah, so empty empty. These are just kind of like a few things I got when I first started couponing those things there. So those were behind the paper towel rolls that I had. A little bit of dish soap. Kept my Viva because I love the Viva. Kept some Charmin. We love the Charmin Basic, but um, that Charmin will do. And my Bounty 12-pack rolls. I ended up um, giving a lot of those away as well, even though I had said that we wouldn't. So yeah, estimated over 100 packs, way, probably way more than 100, but I'm going to conservatively estimate that there was over 100 based on the stacks, how many was each, in each stack and how deep back it went. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Four, five, nine, 12 packs of Bounty left, two Viva, a couple of single rolls, two Bounty Basic, two of the, what are those, 16 packs, and that's a Cottonelle. Can you believe that? Like, that was one of my largest, largest purges. And I'm feeling a little bit iffy about it. But I gave to a lot of people who needed it. There are several outlets in my area, like the Cancer Center. It's a nonprofit that all proceeds from sold items go to cancer patients who can't pay for, like, their day-to-day -day living expenses. The Diabetes Alliance, a local chapter... Um, they only accept paper products and a couple of other, like, plastic items. No meters, surprisingly, but they got some. My mom got a ton. My sister-in-law, my two brother-in-laws, and a girl who um, helps me with my little one. She likes, She's a young girl. She's really sweet, and she comes along sometimes with me when I shop to keep an eye on my little one so that he's not, you know, like having to sit in a buggy forever and deal with my shopping. But yeah, it definitely all went to good homes. I'm just a little bit, whew, a little nervous about it. But yeah, so that's the huge difference since my video that I uploaded yesterday, but it was recorded right before Memorial Day. So yeah. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I will show you an outside shot of my outside stockpile shed my husband built me. Because of the tropical storm rain we've been getting, it flooded, and it's a mess right now. So please let me clean that up, get it presentable again, and I'll do another vid later in the week. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.